Hello folks, this is Amazing Animal Adventures. Today I'm visiting in Southport, North Carolina, and um, I've caught a selection of crabs here today. So I'm going to start with the marsh crab. Let's see if I can get it to focus. There we go. Very beautiful, nice tan little crab. Now these crabs live in brackish water, which means not salt, not completely salt water, but not completely fresh water either. It's like something in between. But yeah, just very pretty crabs. This one's very small for a size comparison. That's my finger compared to it. So nice crabs. Okay, um, now we'll move on to our stone crab. This one's pretty cool. This one's a little bit larger, and actually this one's pretty small for its kind. They get a lot bigger than this. But I didn't come across any bigger ones on this ship yet, so I just went with the best one I could find. As you can see, this one's trying to climb out. They're called stone crabs because they... You can see that resembling a pebble. You saw that in the water near the shore or whatnot. The last one, actually, before I leave, just want to mention that these are also brackish water animals. Okay, now the last one I'm very excited about. This one's a hairy spineback crab. So this one we found in the complete ocean, so like not brackish water, but fully salt water. Very hairy, I mean, you might not even be able to tell it's a crab. Very cool looking though. We found them sitting on a sponge that had washed up on shore. It was a sponge that had a very similar texture, so it would blend in very well. But yeah, very beautiful crab. Okay, and that just about sums up our discussion on crabs. Thank you for watching.